and welcome to youtube channel in this video we're going to be creating this emoji catcher game by just using html css and javascript so let's suppose if i just reload this web page right here so this image will go on and on okay so here you can see we have this timer and if i just click on this emoji so it will now just add that to my uh, score right here and finally when the time's up it will give me the final score like how much score i did so i wanted to do the best score possible if i just can click on this emoji <laughs> anyways i'm gonna fast forward and let's just see like how much score i did all right so here you can see i did a score of um 57 and let me just see like how much score you can do so put your final score in the comment section and let's see like who is the winner anyway so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right to our code editor and write our code so to do that first of all let me just create a folder given name of like o uh 82 like emoji catcher game okay so inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be just index.html the second one will be just style.css and now the third one will be just app.js so now let me just write app.js for javascript now let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code so let me just write a doc type html emoji catcher catcher and now let's just give a name of like game and now let's just link it with our css and also with our javascript so now let me remove this metadata from there right click on it and open it with a live server and now we are good to go so so for html we're not going to be writing a crazy html but first of all we are going to be creating a container with the class of scores container inside this container we are going to be creating a div with the class of total total uh, score inside there we are going to be using h2 and your score and that's that and now let's just write h2 and give an idea of like score and here it will be now set to zero okay so underneath this div we are going to be creating another div with a class of time and now inside this we are going to be using h2 of time left and underneath that we are going to be using h2 and also give idea of like time left and then let's just write 60 uh, seconds in there underneath all of these divs let's just write another div with a class of grid um grid and then container okay come on what the hell container and now inside there we are going to be writing our grid inside this grid we are going to be writing our squares so now let me just write like square and you know i'm going to duplicate a few times and also provide uh, ids i'm going to select a multi cursor selection and now let's just provide our id and write um one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay so now let's duplicate and change this one to 10 so if we just save that and now we are totally done with html so now let's jump right to our css and now let's just style that a bit so the first thing i'll do is i'll select my body and i want to change the background color to like rgb and now let's just change it to like 10 10 and 10 okay so now let's just change the color to be like totally white and also font family will be sent serif if you want to use your own on or something you can also use that now let's get our scores container which is this course container let me just show you that that one and now we are going to be using display of flags and justify content will be center align items will be also not content align items will be set to center save it so everything is now perfectly centered and black color now let me get my total score which is this uh, right here we have our total score so we are going to be giving a margin right of like 20 pixel and also margin of 20 pixel all around text align we are going to be using is like center and background will be just not bottom come on background will be totally like ccc and also padding i'm going to give him like 20 pixel and color will be now set to totally black so now if you just save that so we've got our first square and now total score to be precise not square and now let's just get our time so time and now let me just use like margin right of like 20 pixel margin of 20 pixel and also text align will be just set to center background will be totally that ccc and also padding will be for this one 20 pixel and color will be totally black seven and both of them are looking cool for now all right so now we are done with that now the next thing which you have to do is to select our grid container which is this grid container right here so i'm going to just select that like a uh, grid container and now let's just write a display of flex in here justify content will be center 
and align items will be also centered so now if you just save that we cannot see our grid container because we installed our grid so now let's just style our grid right now and now i want to give like a width of 90 percent and let's just duplicate then height will be also 90 percent so let me just give a display of flex in here and flex ramp will be ramp because we want it to be ramp just if icon will be center align items will be also center and now let's just change the background color to be like rgb of 36 36 and also 36 so underneath that we are going to be using like margin top of two rims and also padding will be just 20 pixels so now if you just save that so now we let's just select all of these squares right here and now let's just style that a bit so i'm gonna select my square and now let's just give them a height of like 200 pixel and the width will be also 200 pixels so now let's just give them a margin of 10 pixel spacing and background will be just rgb of 61 and 61 and also 61 so now if you save that so here you can see we have these squares right here so now we are done but the final thing which you have to do is to provide a background image so we are going to be writing this class inside a javascript so now let me just write like emoji in here and now let's just write a background image and url and now let's just search for emoji i don't know where the hell office came from let's just close that and now let me just search for emojis uh emojis let me just search for emojis laugh emoji would be fine if i just search for laugh and you know you can choose your own if you have one but in my case i'm gonna go with i don't know which one can i choose i'm gonna just choose this one and now let me just check the quality of it the quality is totally cool so right click on it and copy image address so now here i'm gonna write my quotes and paste it right here okay so that's that now let me just add my background and then position will be now totally set to center and background size will be also cover uh so save our files so now we are totally done with our css and also with our html so now let's jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity to a site so the first thing i would do is i'm going to get my square right here and it will be now equals to document dot uh, query selector all and now let, let me just write like a uh, square in here okay so now let's just get our time uh left and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of time left okay and now let's just get our score and it will be now equals to document dot query selector and now let's just get our score in here okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do that we have to declare a few variables so i'm going to just write like let result and it will be now equals to zero let uh head position and it will set to nothing for now so it will be undefined and let current time will be equals to like 60 seconds and now let timer id will be now equals to null now so now the next thing which you have to do is to create a function which allows us to create like a random square so i'm going to just write like random square okay so that's that now inside this we are going to be using our squares squares and now let's just iterate over through all of the squares and now let's just get or each square from there so now here we are going to be just removing our square come on let's just write square okay i misspelled it so it should be s q u a r e okay so now let me just write s q u a r e right here and class list dot remove remove of that emoji okay so now if you just save that now underneath that we are going to be writing our let random square and it will be now equals to uh squares and now let's just get like math dot floor and it will be now math.random and also just divide there with nine okay so i'm going to put nine plus one in here okay so that's there now let's just write our random square dot class list dot add or emoji class in here emoji which we've created right here this emoji class final thing for this uh, function we are going to be doing is our head position will be equals to random square and then dot id Okay, so that's that now let's just save it so we are done with the first function now let's jump right to you the next thing which will be like iterate over through all of the squares and now let's just get our first square and now here we are going to be passing like uh we are going to be attaching event listener on each square so we are going to be using dot add event listener of mouse down okay so we are going to be just using that function i mean like that event and now let's just call that if 
square.id come on square uh, dot id is equal to head position so if you want to just increment or result and also score dot text content will be equals to this result okay and now head position will be still set to null okay so now once we save this you are also done with that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to create a function which will allows us to move or emoji we are going to be using like move emoji and now here inside this function we are going to be just using like timer id timer id and it will be now equals to our set interval set interval and inside this we are going to be passing our random square and 500 right here okay and now let me just call this function right away in here and now also let's just create our count down um timer id in here so now here we are going to be using like set interval and it will be now equals to like a countdown count down and now let's just pass our 100 right here 1000 to be precise so that's our countdown timer id so now the final function which we are going to be creating is just create our countdown function so function count down and it will be now equals to like inside this function we are going to be first of all decrementing our current time and then time left um time left dot uh, text content will be equals to this current time and also let's just check our conditions so let me just check like if current time is equal to zero so what do we have to do is that we have to just clear the interval and pass our countdown timer id so countdown timer id in here and now let's just write a clear interval for our timer id as well timer id and also let's just alert or user like game over and your final score is just this final score let's just write our result in here so now if you just save that and now here you can see we have this emoji right here and we have this timer right here okay so if you just click on this emoji it's like okay it's moving really fast okay so if you just click on it it will now increase our score right here so let's just click here i'm really horrible with this game i can't play all right so now i'm gonna do my best and play it and just click on this emoji all right so i'll do my best for one minute <laughs> this is how much score i can get in this game okay so all right so can catch him i mean like you can choose whichever kind of image you like but this one is like a little bit cuter so let me just all right all right all right let me just get that a few times and come on still at the 50 i thought i already scored like 100 all right now let me just click that going really fast i mean ah game over your final score is 55 so if you just restart it and if you just um scored so you can just move on if with the score if you want to all right so now we are totally done with this project so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.